hello beautiful people how are you doing today i hope you are good in today's recipe we'll be making milky donuts and it's easy to make i'll show you the step-by-step -step guide on how to achieve this delicious snack let's get started my bowl i added in room temperature water and i brought in the sugar and i also brought in the yeast make sure you have an active yeast and we're going to whisk this whisk this to combine properly and i brought in one large egg i also added in one teaspoon of vanilla flavor you can use any flavor of your choice and i brought in melted butter and we're going to whisk this again you have to stir it combined properly for all the ingredients to come together and I brought in all-purpose flour and salt I also brought in ground nutmeg we're going to sift this in because I want to use this fine powder not the granules and with my spatula we'll start mixing this to bring it together we'll mix it till we'll get a shaggy dough like this that we're not able to mix with our spatula and I'll transfer this to my work table I sprayed vegetable oil on my work table and on my hands that will help the dough not to stick too much our dough is not sticky and is not hard either so we'll start kneading this if you have a stand mixer that will be nice but I'm kneading with my hands this dough can tear easily at this point We'll need it till it develops gluten. That way, you'll have very good donuts. If at any point it gets sticky with your scraper, you can scrape your hands and your work surface and continue kneading. This is another kneading method I use. I'll be hitting it on my work surface. This will also help it to develop the gluten. If it's way too sticky, you can add in a couple tablespoons of flour and keep kneading but not too much so that you don't overdo it we'll knead it till we'll get it to this point and I'll form it into a ball shape we'll bring it together nice and tight and here is my tray I'm going to sprinkle flour on it and also on the dough that will help our dough not to stick when we're proofing it And here I'll poke my finger in the middle of the dough and I'll cut it open. I'll be using my kitchen scale to get exact measurements for this. If you want to have exact shapes of all your donuts, you'll have to weigh it with your kitchen scale to get the exact measurement for each dough and I weighed 90 grams for each donut and here I'll pick one dough observe how I'm folding this into a ball shape again we'll fold it nicely it's now elastic because we did a great job while we're kneading it and it's well kneaded and we're going to pinch the underneath just like I'm doing you pinch it very tightly so that it wouldn't open up in the oil when we're frying this and I'll also roll it on my table just like this and I'll set this aside Let's do it one more time after rolling it you can turn it to the other side and if it has any holes you pinch it together and roll it before you set it aside and here they are all in my flour pan and i'll twist this anti-clockwise or clockwise this is very important because it will absorb the flour and that way when it's proving when it's rising it will not stick to the pan and i'll cover this with my kitchen towel and we'll leave it to proof for between 30 minutes to one hour or until yours doubles in size and here is one hour it has doubled in size gently lift one and into the oil 
just like I'm doing. And in a dry pan on heat, I added in oil and we're going to allow it to get hot enough. I used my skewer to check and with these bubbles on my skewer, I know that the oil is hot enough. And now I'll start bringing in the dough gently one by one. Please note that you should not use hot oil for this. Your oil has to be on low to medium heat, not low heat and not hot heat either. If the oil is too hot, it will brown faster without cooking on the inside. And if it's not hot enough, it's going to soak up lots of oil. And we are going to fry this on both sides for two minutes each till it gets golden in color. And here I'm bringing it out from the oil and I'll fry the other batches of the camera. And I added in powdered milk to my bowl and while the donut is still hot, I'm going to glaze it in the milk on both sides. You have to be gentle with this because these are pillow donuts so that it doesn't squeeze in. And here they all are having glazed them with milk and let's make the milky filling. Here I added in powdered milk and I also added in condensed milk. And we are going to start mixing this together. Now, if you want a very thick butter, you have to use more powdered milk. And I brought in liquid milk. We'll add this gently, not all at once. You keep mixing it till you get the consistency you want. Some prefer their milky filling to be runny, while some prefer theirs to be thick. Whichever you want is up to you. And we'll keep mixing this till there are no lumps. It's all smooth. You can also use whipping cream and milk for this milky filling, but that's a recipe for another day. And here mine is very smooth. And I brought in my piping bag. And I transferred the mixture into my piping bag. At Glory Homemaker, we give you value for your time. I hope this video was helpful to you. You can leave me any questions or any suggestions and I'll be glad to hear from you. With my doorway rods, I made an opening in each donut. You twist the end of the piping bag and you start pressing it into the donuts please note that your donut has to be well cooled before adding in the milky filling or any filling if it's hot you're not going to like the outcome you have to allow it to cool properly before adding in the fillings and here are our milky donuts i want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers thank you always for checking out my videos you guys make my day worthwhile Thank you and God bless you. And please, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like and share my videos to get amazing content like this. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.